What is up guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be reviewing the Jordan 1 Smoke Grays. But before we start today's video, I'd like to kick it off with a kick check. The kicks I'm wearing today are the Adidas Packer Ultra Boost. This shoe released on May 10th with a retail price of $220. This shoe was limited to 500 pairs and was a mashup of the three OG Ultra Boost colorways, the neon yellow, bright orange, and the purple and black. The Jordan 1 Smoke Gray is released on July 11th with a retail price of $170. This shoe came in a men's and grade school size run and released on Nike sneakers, foot sites, and various sneaker boutiques. The upper material is a primarily suede material with the gray and black panels being suede and the white and red panels being leather. The white leather is quite stiff and it reminds me of the Court Purple 2.0s while the red strip of leather here is quite soft. And the quality on the suede is very nice and soft with having long nappy hairs and it's actually really nice. The toe box of the shoe is a white leather with the mudguard being this gray suede material. The mid panel of the shoe is again a white leather with a black suede Nike check going across the mid panel. Again on the heel of the shoe is this gray suede material and the best part of the shoe is this red strip of leather on the ankle area. This shoe comes with flat black laces but also comes with a set of white laces too. And this tongue of the shoe is just a standard Jordan 1 tongue, but Jordan brand decided to switch it up by reverting back to the nylon tab. Because for the past couple of months, Jordan brand has just been putting on this cheap leather on the tab of the tongue instead of this nylon tab. But what makes me mad about reverting back to the nylon tab is that they kept the retail price point at 170 instead of 160. The liner of the shoe is a black neoprene material and the insole of the shoe is a black insole with the Nike Air printed on the heel in red. The midsole of the shoe is a standard Jordan 1 rubber midsole and the outsole is a standard black Jordan 1 outsole. And the Jordan 1 outsole is quite durable so you should be fine if you're planning to rock this shoe. Overall the Jordan 1 Smoke Gray is just a mediocre shoe to me and I know that it's supposed to be a cheaper take on the Union Jordan 1s but still just how well executed the Union Jordan 1s are just makes this shoe look very mediocre and whenever I see this shoe it's just going to be in the shadow of the Union Jordan 1. I like how the Union Jordan 1 was primarily leather while this was primarily suede and I'm not a very big suede fan on my Jordan 1s and overall just the quality of the leather and the suede and the colorway and the overall silhouette of the shoe is just so inferior compared to the Union Jordan 1. And I know that my liking and overall thoughts of this shoe might be biased because I actually own the Union Jordan 1s, but still, even in photos, the Union Jordan 1s just look way better than these shoes. And tell me in the comments down below which pair you'd rather rock, because overall, I give the shoe a five out of 10. And that is it for today's review. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and follow us on Instagram. Peace.